Mr. Sully? Guys, we got ourselves a second trailer for Uncharted today. But what's really important to tell you all, Spectrum was here for the last hour and a half, and I think we finally got the internet working again. <laughs> Success! Okay. We'll see how long this lasts, ladies and gentlemen. Was not a big fan of that first trailer. I'm hoping this one's better. It's see what going we're in to store be. For. It's definitely going to be better. You just know it is. This is how Hollywood works. It's going to be good. Hey, kid. A little young for a bartender, aren't you? A little old for prom, aren't you? Everything in here. Why the map? It's the biggest treasure that's never been found. Five billion easy. But it's just a story. I beg to differ. Five hundred years ago, my family found the world's biggest fortune, then was betrayed. Uh. People have been searching for it all in vain. Both you turn your keys clockwise at the same time. Ah! Thanks a lot. You almost got me killed. Clockwise, silly! Well, it was 50-50, so I made a guess. Clearly. But the footage was not just about gold something much more valuable. This girl has a very tragic history. So much blood. I'm pretty sure he just threatened to kill me. Oh, this is gonna suck. <laughs> Don't get caught. Don't get caught. You were trying to leave me back there. Somebody had to get the cross. <laughs> is this really more like Uncharted? that there was a final piece. Oh, oh you know my brother's sick? Who's playing him? You have no idea who you partnered with. What else aren't you telling me? The victor is Boyles. How are they going to get them out of here? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that was better. That was much better. Put him down, boys. <laughs> what is that thing on your face? Yeah, puberty's right around the corner. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we oh, got the golly. stash. <laughs> oh yeah. We That's got the stash. <laughs> Everything is fixed. <laughs> They heard the response of the last one. We gotta said, give them something. They said, cut that Led Zeppelin crap. Let's get some actual score in here. Let's give us a swashbuckling vibe. But more importantly, you get that man a mustache. Get this man a stash. And knowing Sony, that's the final scene of the movie right yeah, there. Yeah, he shows up <laughs> just in time to set up the sequel where he has his mustache. I mean, some time would have needed to have passed, and it looks like some time has passed from the fact that he's not look it appears that Drake is on his like own little adventure at that moment, turns around and surprised to see Sully, and one of the first things he says is, let's set on your face. Classic. Classic. Classic, classic Uncharted. Hollywood. This looks increasingly fun and passable. <laughs> right? Yes, it does. Fun, passable entertainment. It felt more like Uncharted than the last damn trailer. This at least seems like it's attempting to be an Uncharted adaptation. You know what I mean? Yeah, it still hasn't quite answered the question as to how much Uncharted there will be versus how much, like, we're in the, you know, like that big set piece where they're at the party and the gala. Like, it looks like there's a lot that takes place that almost feels like it would be the first half of the movie before they get to actually going into Uncharted territories and finding lost You're treasures. Being nitpicked. Picky John. I think this Being looks so great. This is what the John. fans want and fun. Deserve. Tom Holland, fun. It's Christmas, and uh, hey, if yeah. there's anything people love, it's Tom Holland and Mark Wahlberg. And uh, the Hollywood mathematicians can't be wrong about that because both of them are charming and people like them. So that must mean that they're the perfect people to play these roles. Yeah, it looks okay. Like the whole thing with the, it felt at least had this like swashbuckling adventure vibe about it where the, the other one. It felt like 
relatively small with like a random plane sequence from Uncharted 3. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like this actually feels like bigger scope to it. You know, I like the riddle solving, the puzzle solving yeah, uh, stuff yeah, that yeah. they do there. And of course, like the ancient treasure troves and like the kind of villain Antonio Banderas is and this romance with Chloe, I believe is her name. I think Chloe comes in the second game where you learn that they dated mm. before the main love interest, Elena, comes in in the first game. Okay. And then she kind of is throughout the... I think that's how it goes. It's He's been a while. Wait, I wanted to see. We don't know who's playing Sam. Do, do we? Did they? They had a photo of him. That's Sebastian Stan. Oh, that's the kid. That's when they're kids. Yeah. Oh, so we don't know who it is. Damn it. I would. I would venture a guess not. But maybe we could figure out what Andrew Garfield. <laughs> <laughs> make, it, make it Andrew Garfield, people. Yeah. And then Sully can have a long lost brother too, and that could be played by Toby McGuire. <laughs> yeah. Come on, have fun with that, be. Sure. Let's do it. I would actually. I would be on board for the wild ride that would present. <laughs> I mean, this looks this looks entertaining. The more distance you get from the games, the more enjoyment you'll have with this. Which is what every video game adaptation fan exactly. wants to hear. Yeah, man, that's what you gotta hear. But <laughs> if, you, look, if you squint and step back really look, far, dude, you'll be excited. There's gonna be a lot of people who are gonna watch this who've never touched the video game, right? Uh -huh. So you, And you gotta take it on its own merits. Totally. And there's gonna be people who just watch it because they like Tom Holland. You know how many people watch the Eternals just because they heard about a certain post credit scene. A lot of people. A lot of a yeah. lot of people came out in tropes. A lot of times with, with shit like this, my mind just goes to one thing, which is, all right, if you're gonna like botch everything, <laughs> at least get the action right. <laughs> at least make it at, fun. At least make the action look really appealing and really cool. While there's some nice shots here or there, some cool looking shots, I'm waiting for that thing where I'm like, oh, the action looks so Sweet, you know that that I feel like that can often be your saving grace. Sure. And like the I want the action to look sweet and at least make me laugh. Here's my thing with Ruben Fleischer. That's who's directing this, right? Mm -hmm. He often has trailers for movies that just look awful. Sure. And then I watch his films and I'm like, this looks really not entertaining. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and I think that's the thing about his his movies. For some reason, they, they don't lend themselves to the greatest marketing. This might be all right, dude. It just looks okay. All right. What do you expect? <laughs> it it's does. A, it's a video live action video game movie. It's on charts. Starting Tom Holland and Mark Wahlberg, it looks like vastly entertaining. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, not much more you could say, right? Let's deep dive into it. Subscribe, click that bell, hit that like button. Do you guys think this trailer was better? I sure hope you did. It's the best trailer. Sure of the hope year. you did. All right, guys, we'll see you soon. Say hi to Jesus.